Okay. Um, Brother Scan and Cut uses a USB stick uh, where you can store various files that you have created in Scan and Cut Canvas and then take them over to the Brother Scan and Cut machine. This is, I'm going to go back to it this way, this is where mine is, okay, it's only a, a small disk, I don't need a huge amount because they're not very big programs. So what I have is I have folders inside mine and this was something I was quite adamant about um, and I was ever so pleased when Brother themselves emailed me back and said that this would work. I have a lot of cut files. There is no way on this earth that I want to be constantly toing and throwing, transferring this stick, transferring that stick. Um, what I wanted to be able to do was actually put them onto one stick, but then be able to organize them. So I wanted to use a file system on the Brother Scan and Cut machine itself in order to be able to access it. You, you can see if you were going to scroll through all of these here, okay, it would, you know, you'd be pressing down, 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 down. If you've got 50 to 100 designs, you don't want to be doing that. So what I did was I emailed them and asked them whether we could make a folder system on the USB stick that goes into the scan and cut machine and then be able to access those folders. So you see I've got one here called Christmas, now I've got a snowflake flourish there and I've got a snowflake there. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm now going to switch to my video camera and you'll see me take this out the machine and transfer it to my brother scan and cut. Okay, so there's the folder on my computer. I'm just going to click on the X and then remove it. And it's that one there. Okay. So there's the stick there, which I'm going to take out, and I'm now going to move to my brother Skull and Cut. I'm going to put my stick in. If you can see my hand there, I can never get this in the right way. Right. There it is. Okay, so that is in. So, trying to keep the camera steady, I want to go to pattern, save data, USB. Yes, it is. Try again. Let's try this again. There it is. Seeing it now. Okay, so what I'm trying to do is get in quite close. Uh, let me pull out and see if it'll zoom in a bit better so you can see there we go I have one folder here called Christmas and one called image I don't know what's on there and then I have a variety of designs on my stick so what I want to do is I want to go back to Christmas okay and you can see there's the the main folder that i labeled christmas this one here is snowflakes you can see that there's one loose snowflake flourish in the folder okay but if i click on snowflakes it tells me the path of where it is that's the labeling and there's my three snowflakes okay if I click on that, it brings up the ordinary cut screen. So you can 
organise your USB sticks. You do not have to have a different one for flowers, a different one for Christmas, a different one for flourishes, a different one for sentiments. That doesn't have to happen. You can have all of these on one USB stick. All you have to do is, I'm going to turn this off and remove the stick out the side, which is there. Go back to my computer. Okay, and I'm going to put the this stick in the hole. I hate these things. There it is. Okay, so then I've got that box there. Okay, so now I'm going to switch back to recording the screen. Okay, so this is my removable disc. Okay, so this is what I've just put back into the machine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go start Google Chrome. Give me my scan and cut canvas. Log me in. I want to go to a new project. I'm going to import an SVG. I don't want that. Let's go to desktop. Uh, what have we got? deleted that so let's just bring in the grandson SVG file and click open and click OK All right so now I have two separate words on my screen um, this is actually the mat for the word um, as it's quite fine so what I'll do is I'll just put this into the right area and try and get the mat the right size That looks about right. So now you can see I've got a mat and a word. Okay, so that one there, I'm going to save this as uh, grandson word. And I'm just going, I'm not even going to save it to the cloud. Okay, I'm just going to click on download. Click on download grandson word okay I'm going to save the link and I want to find there's two ways of doing it I make a folder on my computer uh, called downloads which is great because that's where I put everything and the other way of doing this is oh, where's the computer gone thank you very much right removable just G there you go you can see Okay, now I'm going to make a new folder, okay, and I'm going to put grandson on it. I'm going to click open. So let's click on that, and then save, okay. So I'm going to close this now. Leave, because I don't want to save it. You can see the word grandson is in my removable disk G there's the folder there so I'm going to switch back to the camera now okay so there's the folder as you can see on my computer I press close eject my media which is that one there close that off Remove the pen drive, go back along to the scan and cut, put the USB drive in the side, turn it on, the usual, click OK, I'm going to go pattern, save data, 
USB and there you go now I've got three folders on there one of which is entitled grandson there's the design that I had on the screen and I'm going to click OK and there you go that is how you make additional folders on your USB stick for your brother scan and cut it saves having umpteen different USB sticks for different things and allows you to organize it so I hope this has been of use to you um, it's just a quickie. Thanks very much for watching. Bye.